here. We have had a lot of questions about our Murphy bed. Um, you know, how we like taking it up and down, if it's really difficult to do that, um, what the process is. So um, we're gonna do a quick little video and it's laundry day. So we are gonna start with stripping the bed because that's the first thing that we do. The pets tend to help also, um, which by that I mean more get in the way. Uh, Cleo seems to think that this is mostly her bed versus anybody else. All right, Cleo, come on. Come on. Okay. Now that we have the bed stripped, it is laundry time. All right, so we went and did laundry. We have our sheets back and ready to go. I'm gonna show you really quick how to make the bed. Um, it does take a little bit of work, but it's not hard. And that's just because, you know, it's a, it's a Murphy bed, so they take a little bit of work. usually start with one of the corners and then finish with that side. It seems to stay on a little bit better for me. You find it easier to put the corner in the back on first, correct? Yeah, yep, definitely. And what about the sheets? What size are they? Um, these are standard queen sheets. The, um, the bed itself is really close to a standard queen. It's slightly different. Um, but this, looks like those fit pretty good. Yeah, they fit pretty good. We just, uh, we just kept our same sheets that we had. Um, and we tried them the first time once we got the, once we got the LTV home and we're like, Oh, those fit pretty good. So we decided not to purchase something separate. Jess is much more patient with this than I am because I also don't care if it's all flat. <laughs> don't be laughing over there. Very true. I'm very picky about my bed. And in FYI, if you have pets like us, um, I have them all barricaded behind the door so that they're not helping us <laughs> because then it would take us a long time. You can hear the little footy prints back behind the door. They're like, we want to come in. We want to come in. What are you doing? The other thing I do is rather than tucking that edge in, I just fold it under. Because if not, when you get into the bed, it's like you can't get out. It's like a straight jacket. Do you not have the comforter? Nope. It's oh, okay. no. I got to go get it. Okay, here we go. Okay, back again with the comforter. <laughs> Thank you. Really just the same thing as a flat sheet. Just make sure that... I don't tuck it into that edge, making it really hard for us to use it. The animals all tried to came, come in when we went and get the comforter because they like to interrupt this process. Now, if I remember correctly, the comforter is actually a king size comforter, isn't it? This is isn't it? Because we had decided just on our regular queen size bed, we'd always used a king size comforter so that it's, you know, Jess might hog the blankets and so, you know. That way I don't have to worry about not having any blankets, so. I didn't get no comment from that. Really? <laughs> no, sorry, I might be the one who hogs the blankets. <laughs> okay. So this is basically it. And what I, had, what I do is I just tuck this under a little bit. And so that way the person in the corner actually has blankets too, which is me. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Here we go, we are going to show you how our Murphy bed comes down. So we have the rear lounger. We're gonna take these cushions off to make room for the bed. 
And the bed actually just sits on top of these bottom cushions. So they stay right where they are. They provide that support for it. We get some nice room back here that all of the cushions can sit. We got that side cushion. There's a little bar back here that I'm going to lift up and off its little hook. Like a lever. I'm going to pull out this leg, make sure none of the pets have gotten under here. And then it goes down nice and easy. Undo this strap that held everything in place. Pull our blankets down. Set up our pillows. And we use this cushion just for the back wall. And that's it. We have our bed. Thank you. What I'm going to show you now is how to pick it up. Because I think that that's really one of the biggest questions is how do you put it up and how do you put it down? So this cushion as part of our couch, so I'm going to take this cushion off. And what we learned after testing a couple times is with a thinner blanket and the sheets, our pillows can stay on the bed and get put up. So I'm going to put them right here. Take a little bit of blanket, fold them over. And then our bed comes with this uh, strap here to help hold everything down. and then it's ready to go. Underneath the bottom, there's a little button. That hold I'm... on, hold on. It's right here. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm gonna push that in and then I'm gonna lift up. This pops down and there's a little hook over here. It's like a, a arm bar. And once you push backwards, there's, um, it's like a rod that it latches There's like to. It's like a rod for it to latch onto. Yeah, so it's just really just a straight bar with a hook at the end of it. And that's it. And that's then it. what do we do with pillows? So now it's up. And then this cushion goes back. It's the back side of our couch. And then we have the three little cushions that make up this side. And it's nice. They have Velcro on the back of them. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that holds them right in place so they don't move. No sliding cushions. And that's it. We have our seating area. Real time. That was a minute and 52 seconds with us yakking. <laughs> All right. Bye.